Our guest of honor, Shri D C Sharma, member traction and rolling stock, railway board, and ex officio secretary to government of India, Ministry of Railways. Shri Dinesh Chandra Sharma, member traction and rolling stock, railway board, belongs to 1984 batch of Indian Railway Service of mechanical engineers. Shri Sharma holds twin graduate degree in mechanical and production engineering from Engineering Council, London, UK, and Bachelor of Science from University of Allahabad. Bad Uttar Pradesh Shri Sharma has an illustrious career spanning more than 35 years in Indian railways and has held key leadership positions he holds immense experience in field of project management journal management managing engineering railway operations policy formulation etc under his dynamic leadership indian railways has achieved many milestones under his leadership the manufacture of vande bharat express train is underway and process for procurement of 400 new train sets of sleeper type has also been initiated india indian railway is already also planning to manufacture 9000 and 12000 locomotives under make in india program india everyone please welcome our guest of honor shri dc sharma sir we request you to say something mananiya kaushal kishor ji MOS industry leaders, I can see my friends Shri Tyagi ji from Uttarakhand Metro, Mr. Rao from Andhra Pradesh Metro, Pradhan ji from Jindal Steel and Power, Mr. Shailen Singh, Executive Director Railway Board, Mr. Suri, a veteran of Indian Railways, Mr. Raghu from RDSO. and the entire metro family good morning to you all it's a good occasion to be speaking to the metro family nobody imagined in 1980s that india will ever see a metro very soon kolkata metro came in then delhi metro came in today we have metros running in maybe 20 cities and another 20s are under construction or planning i guess a total length of 2000 kilometers will be up and coming we had a late start if you compare the earlier metros so what is a metro metro is a metro is a sign of victory of the human civilization over the forces of nature long back in 1863 or so london metro opened the tunneling technology was not available so you cut open the roads cover it with steel beams and wooden planks make a road on top of it and create a cavity underneath there was no electric traction the only traction available was steam locos so you run a wooden carriage with the steam locomotives and how do you light up the carriages you put gas lamps so that was the metro in london the the name tube came much later when the tunneling technology started and it was possible to tunnel under the ground as the city grew the levels of metro grew i believe now there are seven levels one above the other cutting across the city so that in the heart of the city every kilometer or two there is a station as mos sir just mentioned the metro today and we such as a bigger concept now there are different reasons why we should build metros you can build metro to ease out the congestion in the city you can build a metro for its carbon credits you can build metro for improvement in the uh, transport economics and convenience you can build metro to develop commercial spaces but the biggest reason today in india to build metro is something which the word it is a hindi word it is the word called antyodaya what is antyodaya the person who is at the end of the line must also get what he deserves we are today sitting in the heart of the capital 
we are lucky to be assembled in a place which is which is the which is the center of the city but there are people who are living 40 kilometers away 80 kilometers away how do you connect with them that is the power of metro and that is the power of antyodaya so that is the biggest reason why metro culture must be enhanced why metro should not remain limited to these 20 cities or those 40 cities but it must go to 400 cities it must go to all centers of population so that is the vision for metro today the potential for metro is immense and maybe we have har we have harvested just about a small percentage of the potential the get togethers like today the expos like today the meetings like today are a glimmer of hope that the metro movement will pick up now what are the basic requirements to run a good metro earlier the technology was a challenge as i said in london when the steam engines used to draw the carriages now you can imagine steam engines also throw a lot of smoke i remember this example because i studied in jamalpur the steam railway town in eastern railway and we learned about the steam technology in early 80s so a lot of smoke and steam is created by the locomotives what happens if the smoke remains in the tunnel you will feel exhausted and maybe you will fall sick the smoke used to be passed through a kind of water reservoir attached with the locomotives and the smoke used to be filtered so that the carbon particles remain stuck in the water and only a cleaner smoke goes out so in those days technology was a challenge the tbms were not there the modern hydraulic excavators were not there today we have the best of the technologies available in india and we are using them so what is the challenge why the metro momentum is not getting faster is it the shortage of rolling stock no indian railways could manufacture the rolling stock for kolkata metro way back in 80s now luckily we have other players in the market who can supply more developed rolling stock you have three phase technology you have 25 kv technology you have modern signaling system you have excellent fare collection devices you have excellent civil engineering support so what is lacking now even aluminium coaches are coming in so what is lacking why we are why we remain limited to 25 or 40 metros you also require a very strong city governance in running the metro anybody who is in metro business will require extremely good support from the city today if you see the funding pattern over india definitely the central government which is the driving force is funding the state governments are giving support they are funding but what is the role of the city government are they able to fund are they are they in a situation where they can match step to step with the central government and state government that is the question which needs to be answered and that is one area if we look into it will give a lot of impetus to the metro movement as far as indian railways is concerned indian railways remains the mother of the railway network and we are doing a lot in our own domain to match the progress in the country in the next 5 years we are planning to spend about 9 lakh crores in improving the infrastructure whether it is track signaling stations rolling stock locomotives coaches wagons you name it and we are working on it and we are getting excellent support from the other ministries in the government of india and very soon you should be able to read the, see the results also now uh, as i as i stand up to speak to all of you there is a timer running here which which shows me that 1 minute and 40 seconds are remaining so i am not trying to match my pace with this timer and uh, if it comes to me i will decide to ignore it so now metro uh, metro is seeing different forms earlier metros used to be a separate entity sitting inside the city and connecting a few stations 
now there is a need to connect the metro with the other systems one of my friends came long back uh, to bombay and he asked me ki how is it that a city like mumbai is running without a metro so i said the entire suburban system of central and western railway is is the is the metro for you so from that day i remember that metro is not something which runs underground metro is something which allows you to travel from place a to place b so metro is a name which has to encompass all modes of transport metro has to connect to indian railways metro has to connect to rrts now the new models of light metro the metro light is coming up the neo metro is a new concept it's a metro on rubber tires running on fixed tracks so lot of models are available depending on the passengers you need to transport depend on the items you transport for the main metro you will need connector loops connecting uh, feeding uh, methods so it's a big uh, big family which will cover you have mono concepts of monorail you have concepts of hanging uh, trains and all that so there is a absolute need to connect all these systems luckily the industry in india is now responding in a very very positive manner and we have players who are willing to share and sell their technology and to partner with the state governments and central government on the metro projects traveling on rail will always remain uh, a dream for uh, pure railway people like me i will complete my address by by sharing what michael flanders said long back if god had intended us to fly he wouldn't have given us railways ever so if you have railways please travel on it grow with it grow the tree build the infrastructure use it make the life comfortable for everybody and please remember making metros is enhancement of antyodaya thank you thank you so much sir we request shri kaushal kishor ji to kindly present a memento to shri dc sharma ji thank you so much sir